Hi guys, so I hope this works because I really don't like to be doing it several times. But I've been asked to do a tutorial on how I do the wee dresses. And yeah, I'm going to try my best and show you how I did it. Um, bear in mind, I only learned how to do these yesterday, so they might not be perfect. Um, but yeah, I'll show you the gist of how to do it. And hopefully it helps. So what I've got here is originally I had four four inch squares of paper. You're probably better with double sided paper, but you can do it with white if you want. It just gives a different effect. I've went with yellow. As you can see, I've done a pink one and a vintage one. Um, so I want a yellow one because I love Beauty and the Beast. So Belle was my favourite and her dress is yellow. So I wanted a yellow dress. Um, so I started off with a four inch square. To The tutorial I did, I'm hoping that you're still in the view. Just move this over a wee bit so I know. Um, hang on two seconds, guys. I'm just trying to mark where these are because my camera setup's kind of weird. Um, the lady uh, that I followed on TikTok, um, she did it with four inch squares but said you can do it with any size. So I suppose you could be really creative and just go really, really small, like three inch squares or two inch squares if you can manage it. But anyway, I'm going to try my best. It's been a while since I've did a tutorial. So anyway, you grab your four inch square, fold it in half. Okay, sorry for my dirty fingers guys, I've been crafting and just... And then you grab it, fold it in half again. See, this is a lot here, but fold in half. So you get to just hang on, guys, because I need to kind of... Because my paper's not wanting to cooperate today. Sorry. So you fold in half again. Guys, bear in mind it's 7 o'clock in the morning here, so I might be a bit... So fold in half again. Right, let me just try and remember how I did this now. And then we are close bit at the top, you fold to the middle, do the same with the other side, fold to the middle, so you end up with a triangle, I'm hoping that this is still on camera, <laughs> it might not be, I'm hoping it is. I should have really marked where the camera was. So there you go. Then you flip it over, follow the line, and you bring these two. No, no, I'm telling the light. You bring this bit up. No, I think I've done this wrong. So hang on, maybe it's this way. Yeah, so you do it closed, but down that way, then you flip it up, so you don't flip it over, you flip it up the way, like that, so the arrow's pointing down the way, and what I'm going to do is just fold this over again, just to make the mark a wee bit clearer for myself, you don't need to do that, but, and then you grab, and you fold it up, the way so like that so it looks like that and then do the same with the other side and in the middle if you can it doesn't need to be perfect but fold it up so it kind of lines up see mine's isn't perfect so mine might not turn out the greatest guys but i'm trying 
the boldest part is the hardest part of the thing and then uh, and then you grab your edges and kind of flip them down to make so it kind of points out you just need to play around with it guys to whatever way you want to do it you can do it right to the edge so it's down at the corner or you can kind of do it a wee bit higher up it's up to you but um you kind of want it want it so it's matching up in the middle as best you can so i'm just kind of so it looks like that i'm hoping you're seeing that i'm hoping that most of that was on camera and i wasn't going too far off camera so it looks like that And then, what you do is you put your finger in the corners here, kind of push it up a wee bit. And you want your finger in the middle, and you want to bring it, open it up, and then you just push down, like that. Do the same on the other side. You can even do that just to get it opened. And down like that. So there you go. There's your bodice part. Now I've learnt this in several parts so I'm kind of trying to go as quick as I can. So that you put that back to the side and then you get your circles. So you start off with a four inch square and then get your circles. I used a die cut. You can just draw around something to as much of the shape as you can get with the four inch. Doesn't need to be the full four inch circle, but just as much, try and fill as much of the square as you can. And then you fold in half, same as you did with the square. Fold in half. Okay. Fold in half again, like you did with the square. It doesn't need to be perfect, and especially if you're drawing round the circle and you're cutting it out, it doesn't need to be perfect. And then, just making sure you can see, it's so it's here, probably best to be here. So, once it's half and quad, you grab the outside circle and fold it down like that. Just the outside, not both. So you want one that they are. So just the outside circle. Flip it. Do the same with the other side. Just the outside circle. And fold it over. Doesn't need to be perfect. Just fold it over. Then you want to open it up like so and so you've got your folded sides here you want to flip it over grab your folded side try to do it this way it's probably easier for me to do it this way hopefully you can still see what I'm doing you want to look at your middle line bring this backwards into your middle line like that, obviously, bring that out so you can see, and do the same with your other side. Kind of match it a wee bit, just fold it out like that, and you'll end up with this, this shape. So that's your bottom part so you just go ahead do the same with the other circles i'm going to do it on camera because i can't pause my video unfortunately so you just doesn't matter what way you do it i'm doing it this way because i want this bit to be an outside really because of the way my stitches are i should really be marking where the camera is so you can see and then fold 
Sorry guys, I'm doing this on my phone, on my tripod, and it's up quite high, so I can't really see what I'm doing, so I'm having to stand up all the time to see. By the way, excuse the mess of my table. That's, uh, I've been crafting a lot the last couple of days, so. And then just grab your outside, fold it, flip it, outside, fold it. I love these wee dresses, they're so cute. Oh, see, I kind of have to fold that probably. You ideally want to get it corner to corner, but you don't necessarily need to. Okay. And then open it up. Flip it over. And bring it into the middle. Oh, that's a bit dirty. And then this side into the middle. Well, I'm hoping you're still seeing this. I really need to mark where the camera is pointing so that I know. So that's two done. Nearly finished. This one. Fold in half. At least I can't see it three times. Fold in half again. If you have any problems following this, I will link the original where I learnt how to do it. But it is a TikTok, so I don't know. I think you can still view TikToks without actually joining TikTok. So I will link the lady that I learnt this from. She doesn't have a YouTube channel, so... on here and uh, when you go into TikTok you can go into our playlist and you'll see it in there it's um oh see I made a boo boo there because I'm folding the two over I was wondering why it wasn't folding properly there you go so that and that open it uh, flip it bring it in Hold it in, bring it in. So yeah, I'll link the lady that I followed in the description as well and you might be able to understand her better than mine. I'm hoping that mine does show you though and it, it works for you. But feeling that, if it doesn't then you can always go and check out the other lady. So I'm just going to do, my, do mine with this glue. Um, you can stick it down with any kind of glue that you like. Um, you could even probably use tape. But just to be on the safe side, I'm using glue. Um, you don't necessarily need to glue these flaps, but I'm finding it's actually nicer with these flaps folded and glued. So I'm just going to glue these down. You don't need to, as I say, you don't need to. I'm just doing it. You could even go that bit down if you want, but I'm not going to do that. I just want to glue these bits down. Okay. Yep. Like so. I'm really hoping this is the camera. Yes, it is. Okay. So that's your bodice part done. So to glue these bits together, all you have to do is put a wee bit of glue on this flap. No a lot, just a wee bit. Is my glue even coming out? Yeah. Just a wee bit. And then what you do is you get this one here, tuck it under like so. And glue it over your flap. Same with the other side. A bit of glue. Now glue's got a blob. 
Wie bei Rühl. Super Under. Rühl da. And you can glue these bits as well if you want, just these as the ones here. Oop. You can glue these down. She glued those down, but you don't necessarily need to. But I'm going to glue mine down because she glued those down. Like so. Okay, so that's that. And that did, did not go at all. Okay. Glue down. Come on, stick. Bring your circle bit out of the bit. Like so. Glue it down. Stick it down. So there's your skirt. Then all you need to do now is glue your body part on. Just kind of judge where you want the dress to be. You don't want it up too high because if you do it too high, it's gonna look she's gonna look too skinny. So I do it round about there. So you just put a load of glue on here. So it doesn't come off. Position it the way you want it. So I think about there is fine. Oh, it's so cute. Get rid of your glue strands, hold it for a few minutes. Push down, hold a few seconds. For the glue to hold. Okay. And then you can either add a bow you can add a ribbon, you can add whatever you want on there across there, like I did with this was just a ribbon. This here was a gold. I'll show you where that is. Where is it? What have I done with it? This. So I had this from when I'd done Christmas makes and stuff like that. It's actually one of these kind of ribbons with the metal wedges around it. And I think this would be nice on one of these as well. Um, not so much this one, but this would be nice. Um, but this was a lot easier actually. So what you do is you get, put these ones away. Hope I'm still on camera. Oops, kind of glued a wee bit to the back there. So, oh, a wee bit of glue stuck to the back. Yeah, that's all right. You can go in and glue these down as well. If you like. Like that. Glue that down as well. I see I made a bit of a mess in the back there, but that's alright, it's the back, it's not the front. So all I did with this was, if I can get my scissors, I'll just chip, snip a bit off, and I'll just see a bit here, I know that's a bit big, but I can always cut off the excess. So all I did with this was, um, I would trim off any wee straggly bits. first, like so, and then you just put it over the middle of your dress, it's really just to cover this bit up, um, but you just put it over like so, try to find a shiny side, it's not 100% shiny but it'll do, and then I just folded that behind, folded that behind. The lady that did 
the tutorial she put ribbon on hers and then kind of cut the sides but I suppose if you really want to you can put it right round the back and like that you could glue these bits down as well but I like them kind of so it flips out so same with these you could leave these bits open so they're more fluffier more flowy um, and then what, what else can we put in here I don't think I've put any yellow sequins or buttons handy maybe a silver or I've not got a red that's the closest I've got to red I think Do a silver. Let's see. Yep, silver looks good. I kind of like the pink actually. I've not got a red, but I've got that. So I think that's closest I can get to a red. Because obviously Belle's got a wee tiny bit of red on her dress. And then just put a wee dot of glue. Place on your sequin or button or whatever you want to put on you can do it with lace you can do it with anything you want you can put a bead on there you can put a flat back bridle on there you can put whatever you want on there and there you go cute little dress oh, here is my dresses hopefully you can see these on camera but I think they're so cute. They're so pretty and cute. And you can do it with any paper. As I say, you're probably better with double-sided. But you could do it with white as well. Uh, one side as well. But they're cute. Anyway guys, I hope that helped. And I'll speak to you later. Bye.